it is so awesome to see you. And last time we talked, I forgot to say how awesome you were in Wayward Pines. Oh, thank you I so much. I love that series. And I walked out of the room and I said, I forgot. It's a Fox show. And I love that series. You're amazing. Thank you so much. So, it's really fun to work with Toby and Carla and all of them up in Vancouver. Yeah. Everything you do is great. I love I loved watching you on the screen and I love talking with you. So when did you find out there was going to be an Equalizer 2? Um, well, when they sent me the script, probably not too long out from shooting last fall, because um, uh, I'm sort of the last one to know. However, <laughs> it had been talked about for some time. There was some junket somewhere, the first when we made the first one, and oh, actually, even when we, Antoine and I had worked on Olympus Has Fallen, he was saying, I'm going to work with you again. And I was like, okay, well, call. I'll be waiting. And he did, and then we did that, and then the script comes for Equalizer 2, and then I read it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what an honor. Thank you. Yes, please. My initial reaction, <laughs> they asked me last night out of the screening. They said, what do you think, Dave? I said, this is not only just a fantastic sequel, but it is a completely different film. It really is. And, and that's a huge compliment to you uh, and the, uh, the rest of the cast. Because even your character, you're tougher in this one. You. you are like, I, you you fight. You're, you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Talk about the character growth. That was very much a response that they had, you know, uh, uh, I, from talking with Richard Wank, the, the writer. Um, there was a lot of response to Susan in the first one, and a lot of it was we want to know more about who she is and, and so on. And so they gave that to the audience in, in Equalizer 2, and you find out a lot more about Susan and, and spend more time with her and see her at work and find out the depth of her talents. Uh, your chemistry with Denzel is outstanding. When you two found out you were working together again on the sequel, tell me about the discussions you all had about where you wanted to go with the characters. Were those where did those discussions even happen? I'm sure they did. And tell me about that. You're smiling. I want to know. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a certain amount of discussing, but what you're imagining is not so. Mr. Washington, although I would love to say that he is a good friend and we have dinners together and his wife and I are, but we're not. We are working comrades. And um, there is, there's this, it's not just discussions, it's more, Fuqua has a pace of working that I think for his beloved producers is sometimes quite frustrating, but he can work very quickly too. But when he needs to, he works very slowly, right? So each scene was given enough time to find what it really needed to be. So when you're working for Fuqua, you're not just shooting scenes, you're, you're finding them, and then you're shooting them. And that's a pleasure when you work in the world today. I'm convinced you'd be a great CIA operative, <laughs> as is Susan in the movie. Do you think you'd be a good, like, spy um, in real life? Well, who says I'm not? And that, my friends, is how you end it. <laughs> She's CIA. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> <laughs>